What's going on everybody? This is Delmer and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at my studio setup. This is where I work on extended reality development. I do that with clients. I do that to bring you videos. So I made it really, really cozy and also in a way that I really enjoy working in here. So I just wanna take you to it and then have an opportunity to recommend you some of the equipment that I'm currently using and then maybe give you some inspiration for your own setup. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I want to start with is the monitors. I really love keeping one monitor in portrait and the other one landscape. The main reason for that is because I like to keep most of my code in one screen so I don't have to do a lot of scrolling. I also like this brand which is Dell. At the beginning I was a little, I wasn't really too excited about using Dell but then I've been using them and I really like the brand. I really like the colors that I'm getting. These two are 4K. They are 27 inch and I really recommend that if you are looking into getting a very high quality monitor at a very reasonable price. So those are the monitors. There's also a lot of ports on the back. As you guys can see, I have USB ports. I also have an HDMI port and also a Thunderbolt port that I'm using with these monitors. The other cool thing that I like about the setup right here is I also keep this mat because, you know, a lot of times, specifically with this uh, desk, that I'm currently using. If you put your fingers in it, you're gonna see basically the marks. So keeping this here, it just keeps it, it just keeps it really clean. I also like the fact that I can use these, you know, these desks electronically. So if I wanna bring it up, I can bring it up. If I want to do a preset, then, you know, I can use one of the presets. So if I'm sitting down, I can just press number one. It'll basically bring it down. If I want to stand up, I can actually press two and it'll bring it up. Also has kind of like a black mat finish on it so I really really like. I also try to keep the cables as clean as you can so I have this issue about seeing cables that are hanging and I don't really like that. That's why the keyboard that I'm using it's basically wireless. I also use another mouse that is that is wireless. It's a Razer mouse and it just keeps us the area really really clean. The other thing that I'm also using is I'm using the Bose speakers which I had for a very long time. They're actually pretty pretty cheap as well. They're $99 if you get them, you know, if you get them today. I had them for about seven years, so I'm not sure if this version is the latest version, but I know that a similar, a similar model is available in Amazon right now, and they are really great. They sound great. They have a headphone jack that you can use to, you know, when you're listening to music or if you're recording videos. They also connect via AUX cable, so that's what you're gonna be connecting on the back of your computer. So for the most part, pretty happy about this setup. I also keep a couple of things in here, such as my, you know, if I want to listen to music, then I have this on. Also, the Oculus Quest is a device that I keep around. Another thing, the one when I'm doing development, specifically for iOS and Android, I like to keep my two phones in here. So if I'm doing, you know, development with Android, I will keep the Google Pixel device, which is this device right here. And I also have an iPhone 12 Pro that I keep all the time. I love this phone and this is where I do most of my work. So I keep them face down because I wanna make sure that I'm not, you know, getting distracted when I'm working on a video or when I'm working on with a client. So this is basically my main setup. I also have a lighting system, which I'm gonna show you in just a minute. All the devices that I keep in here is the, obviously the HoloLens, because it's the one that I'm, that I'm concentrating on. So in this other area, this is where normally I'm doing mixed reality development. I have currently a razor blade. I show you guys in a previous video where I got the base version and that's the one that I'm using right now. If I'm going on vacation, if I'm going to a conference, it's actually pretty beefy. It it's allows me to basically work remotely. And I call this one the mixed reality area. I also have a desk in here, which is created by Eureka. Thank you guys for sending me this desk, which I really love. It's a gaming desk. It has these, basically this mat that I can put under the computer. Really like it a lot. You can also set presets just like the other desk. If I wanted to basically to move it up, then I can basically move it up. If I want to work sitting down, then I can, you know, I can sit down and it's a really great desk. The cool thing about this desk is that L shape is also a lot bigger than the other one. The other one is 48 by 30. This one, it's going to be, I would say about 30% larger than the other desk. I also like the fact that I can work in here. I can take my laptop to another area and I don't have to be dedicated in this workstation, which is the one that I showed you before, because that's what I had before. It's a desktop. I can't really carry that computer if I want to work from another area. 
So really cool. Another thing is this computer, and I mentioned that before, has tons of support. So if you are a developer and you need to, you know, be testing different devices, you're swapping, you know, a virtual reality device, then this is a computer that I recommend for that because there's tons of supports in here. There's a USB-C port, multiple USB-C ports, multiple USB cables that you can connect and port. So the external monitor here is basically the same layout that I had on the other computer. It's a little smaller, but it's really cool because if I take the computer to another place, I can also take this monitor, which is actually pretty, pretty light. So if I were to disconnect it, you guys are gonna see how light this is. And the brand is Lipo, I got it from Amazon as well. So really cool. The other cool thing about this is only one cable, so you don't have to have tons of cables connected. So if I wanted to just get power, this is going to be a port that it's, you know, it's basically USB-C, but it's also sending video and also sending power. So a couple more things in this area that I keep is the HP Revert. This is one that Microsoft just sent me and I'm going to be doing videos with MRTK. So I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. I also have the Unreal device here, which I'm going to be also making more videos and I've been making some videos about it. A couple more things in here. Magic Leap device is right here. I also have another device in here, which I call the, it's the Anchor. And this Anchor charger is one of the things that I love the most is one that I can charge my phone wirelessly. I can charge my AirPods. I can also charge my watch if I wanted to charge that. So I keep it next to basically in between both of the computers so that I can have it in there at all times. Other things that I did in here as well is I have a lot of, you know, clean cable management on there. So I'm pretty proud of that. And I keep mentioning that because that's one of the things that, I mean, if you want to create an office that it basically you want to work on and you want to create you know, experiences, you want to make sure that it's an area where you're comfortable with everything. The last thing that I also wanted to mention is this is something that, you know, my wife makes fun about, but this is one of my best purchases. It's an Ember cup and it is a little bit pricey for a cup, but as a drinker of coffee, I really enjoy having coffee. So this will allow me to, you know, use my phone and connect my phone to this device so that I can have my coffee hot at all times. So this is something that I think is one of the most useful things that I purchased for the office. I also have the iPad Pro here with the pen. I use that a lot for, you know, taking notes and getting ideas. So that's pretty much this desk and the other desk. The next thing that I want to show you is the lighting system. So lighting was one of the things that I wanted to make sure that I got right. So if you're creating an office and you want your environment to look really cool, lighting is really, really important. So as you guys can see, I have the two desks. One of them, it's already up. This is the other desk that I have right now. So if I wanted to change the lighting scene, I could basically use my phone. Let's say that I wanted to use it, maybe a blue color because that gives it more of a futuristic look. I can do that. If I wanted to change it, maybe to a white, I can do that. We can do red. So I'm using a hue strip in this desk right here. So if you look at it behind it, there's a strip going from one edge to the other edge. On the other computer, which is this one, I have two different, basically there are two different stands that have lights. So there's one on this side and also one on the other side. So that's lighting and I'm using my iPhone 12 Pro to basically control the lighting. Last thing, let me just show you the pegboards and those are the ones that I got from Ikea. So funny enough, I had a lot of things in my desk. In the previous days, I basically had a desk that was covering the entire office and I just had tons of devices right on top of it. So it was really, really hard to keep things organized. So what did I decided to do is basically get one of these pegboards, which at the beginning when I got it from Ikea, they were completely brown. So I wanted to match the style of my office. So I basically just painted it. And now I have multiple devices in here, which are VR devices. I also keep a lot of cables you know, my headphones and then, you know, every single kind of cable that I might need. And this is my other pegboard that I'm currently using to keep the batteries that I'm using and that have charge and ones that are not charged. So some cables, hats and certain things that I keep in there as well. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about any of the equipment that I show you today, let me know because I'm also going to be putting the links to everything that I'm currently using in the description in case you guys have any questions. And also, if you have any suggestions on anything that I show you today or how can I improve, please let me know in the comments. Thank you, guys.